another great exploration. Whoa, whoa. Thanks for the hard hat, eh? Gauge calibrated, gloves on, hats on, lights on, let's explore! There's a shaft over there. Let's go have a look what's inside there. Let's go. The smell is getting worse here. Wow, it's getting stickier. We're going up this ladder, guys. Ooh, it's not one of the safest. I think these are the bunkers. Oh! We are here, guys. We managed to find them at last. My god, this is dangerous. CNG Track Ventures, in collaboration with CNG Photography, a solo adventure shop. Hello, guys. Welcome back for another adventure. This time we are in Manuel Island. Someone told me that. There are two bunkers, two oil bunkers here on Manuel Island. CNG Trek Ventures, let's explore. So, since we are exploring confined spaces, guys, we always carry along our gauge, our fumes gauge with us. Welcome to Is Intelligent Voice Gas Detector. Starting. Please wait. So, gauge calibrated, gloves on, hats on, lights on. Let's explore. The first thing we found, guys, is a flight of stairs. As we're going down, guys, we are noticing a metal full of rust pipe going up, and on the, on the other side, a handray, an iron handray, and a plastic pipe going down as well, maybe for for water supply or something, I don't know. You can notice oil droplets on the floor there, all the way up the stairs. Maybe there was a, a leak or something. We're going down, down. Let's see what's in here, guys. here it's sort of a tunnel you go down the stairs look and you find yourself in a tunnel here dug this way and a lot of rusty let's see where we're walking look Balls. Something you immediately notice when you come down here, guys, is a very nasty smell of oil fumes, but the gauge is not identifying any hazardous situations yet. Um, you can also see here machinery, some valves here, some old valves, rusty valves, and oil spill all over, unfortunately. There's a, there's a shaft over there. Let's go have a look what's inside there. Let's go. Pipes. 
go and get on the wheels over here. You have to be cautious. And there is a, a leather, a rusty leather going up, guys. I don't think it's it's safe going up this one because look, it's really rusty. It barely has an hook. See? dangerous to go up guys I will not risk it let's explore where this tunnel leads us guys let's go slowly yeah. because everything is going down to the two pieces we came in a junction here there is this, look how beautifully cut in the rocks, guys, like perfect semicircle. And pipes go up here as well, like the one before. But it's still dangerous here yeah, to go up. Let me show you the kind of rust that it is, guys. Look here. Everything. My God. Oh. Rocks. Part of the rocks have fallen down. Deteriorated pipes again. All of them deteriorated. Look. But on this side, they seem to be to be in a much better condition. The smell here is getting worse, guys. Whoop. Be careful where we're where we're walking because a lot of things are in the middle here. As I was telling you, the smell is getting worse here. It's better to put up this mask sort of and we're carrying on and it, it, you can feel you can feel it's a bit warmer here as well so maybe wow it's getting sticky eh? it's getting more sticky here yeah, look. maybe oil oil spill we have to be cautious where we're walking It's blocked off. Maybe it went a bit further, but it's blocked off now. Let's see more of this, of these bunkers, guys. Of these submarine supply bunkers, guys. We are now walking to the right side of the bunker, guys. We have to be careful where we're walking here. A piece of machinery, some gear wheels as well here, as you can see. Maybe they were used to to wind up or unwind some cables. And some stop valves here as well. And finally, we found a safer ladder, guys. This is not that safe, 100%, but we'll try to go up and check what's up there, up there, up there. Look, wait, we're going up. Before going up the letter, guys, I'm noticing this scale over here. 28, 27, 26, 24, and goes up. It was definitely used to measure some, some height. going up this ladder guys Ooh, it's not one of the safest ladders I ever went on but let's try wow Ooh.
explore. Wow, what's here? It's safe to step here, and what's written here? FFO tank number one, FFO tank 32 feet to bottom. Oh, and it's closed. Maybe it goes down where we were before. It smells like fumes, guys. Gauge. The cage is still indicating it's safe to be here. Otherwise, we would run. I think these are the bunkers. Oh! Can you hear the echo, guys? Oh! on and on. They say they are 100 feet. CNG Trek Ventures! We found what we've been looking for, guys, finally. Wow, that was tough, eh? We managed to find the submarine oil bunkers here on Manuel Island. This is possibly the first vlog regarding these submarine oil tankers, guys. In order to check if there's oil or anything, guys, I'm trying to, to throw something and check if it echoes or not, or, or if it makes the sound of going into fluid or something. Let's see. One, two. Anybody there? Hi guys, it's empty down there. Look, pipes going all over, guys. And the walls over there of the tanks. Wow, wow, wow. Obviously, we cannot go down there, guys. There is still some oil residue. You can see it shine a bit. But otherwise, it's nearly empty. Another great exploration. Oh, whoa! Thanks for the hard hat, eh? Nice, nice. So, let's go out, let's go out now. From the little information available on social media, we try to create um, a plan of the measurements of these tanks. It is important to underline that this is not an official site plan. These pipelines behind me, guys, used to be connecting these reservoirs to the shoreline so that they will uh, uh, replenish the submarines with fuel. As we already mentioned on our previous vlog, you can find the link up here, there was a plan of building an underground submarine base on the other side of Marsamshet Harbour. In this photo you can clearly see the first three tunnels being dug. Included in this underground submarine base there should have been five tunnels measuring 320 feet each. Also including torpedo store, a torpedo workshop and an electrical workshop. So guys, hope you enjoyed this exploration once again. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for following us, thanks for contributing to our Patreon uh, account. Um, uh, your help is much, much appreciated, guys. You can understand that these things um, require a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of uh, money sometimes to buy apparatus, but we enjoy exploring together, guys. Thanks for following again, guys. Thanks for exploring with us this beautiful, awesome underground Malta here, this time in Manuel Island. We are committed to show you guys what no one else vlogged before. So, thanks for following, thanks for being there for us. Until next time, Sahau Slim. <laughs>